It's important to get eight glasses of water a day, but do we really need that much? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, breaks it all down for us. How much water you need to drink is actually dependent on a few things. You likely know to drink more water when you're exercising or if it's hot out, but believe it or not, your size and metabolism also plays a role. You'll need more water if you weigh 250 pounds versus someone who weighs 150 pounds. And if you have a fast metabolism, you'll also need more water than someone whose metabolism is slow. Your diet also needs to be factored in. Many fruits and veggies also contain water with cucumbers, apples, spinach, and watermelon being high water content foods. So what can you eat can add up and affect your fluid needs. So how much do you really need to drink? How much water that is? It's important not to rely on thirst alone. What I recommend is that you check your urine. You want it to be almost clear. If it has a strong odor or is dark yellow, then it's time to drink a couple of glasses of water. Despite the fact that there's no magic formula for hydration, there are some general guidelines for how much water to drink in a day, and I've included them in my prescriptions. Number one, the National Academy of Sciences suggests around 11 cups of water a day for women and 15 cups for men. But remember, everyone is different, and what you need varies depending on your weight, physical activity, and general health. Secondly, if you're sick and have a fever, you can lose water through sweating or diarrhea. So please drink more fluids that contain water, salt, and sugar so your body stays balanced. Also, milk, juice, teas, and coffee count towards your total water intake. But I'd prefer that you get the majority of liquids by drinking water as it's healthy and calorie-free. Not bad. And lastly, although it's rare to drink too much water, please be careful that you don't overdo it. It could cause a dangerous condition called hyponatremia, where sodium levels actually become too low. But for a lot of people, getting enough water is a daily struggle, and we need it for every single body function. It carries nutrients and oxygen to your cells, flushes toxins from your organs, improves short-term memory, and also keeps your digestive tract moving. So be sure to get the right amount that works best for you. I'm Dr. Parthenandi. Dr. Nandy, thanks. If you have a question or health concern for the doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.